Okay. When we're writing these equations, we need to take information from the problem, and we're going to make we're going to identify what the two variables are. So, to do that, we're going to write let statements. In this case, we're going to let n equal the number of nickels. What do you guys think our second let statement will be? Let um, D. D equal the number of times. <laughs> there's, there's only two short sentences there. It's not a ton of information, but from that information, we can write two equations that are going to tell us, if we were going to solve this and we're not yet today, how many nickels and how many dimes she has in her jar. What we do know is how many coins. How many coins are there? 140. 140. So we know that nickels plus dimes equals 140 coins. What's the other important information from the first sentence? Um, she has $11.20. So the second equation equals $11.20. How, how, much, how much are nickels worth? Five, Five. cents. So it's going to be 0.05n plus 0.10d. We know that the value of nickels is 5 cents. We know that the value of dimes is 10 cents. And we know that the total is $11.20. That's a system of equations. They work together. Do you guys see what we're talking about here? Let's try the second one. Who else was willing to read? Go ahead, Lehman. A total of 243 adults and children are at a movie theater. There are 109 more adults than children in the theater. Okay, so let's underline. A total of tells us that this is an equation. The total of tells us we're gonna have something that equals, because it's the total. We also know that there's 109 more adults than children. What do you guys think the two variables should be? Um, children, and children. And children and adults. So we're going to let A equal the number of adults. We're going to let C equal the number of children. Want to make a prediction on one of our equations? Um, 15 equals 64 plus the square root of 10. Go ahead. Wait, wait. Junior? Um, A plus C equals uh, 243 plus 109. Nope, just the 243. A plus C, all the adults and children together total 243. What are we going to do with that 109? It goes into our it goes into our second equation. I'm not going to subtract because we will to solve later. Remember, the opposite is how we end up solving. What does this say here? More. I'm going to say that there are children plus 109 adults. 109 more adults equals the adults. The number of children, we don't know what that is, but we know that there's 109 more adults than there are kids. So the adult total is all the kids plus 109 more people. Oh, yeah. That's not going to get you to the total. What this is going to, this equation here is going to tell us what this number here in the first equation is. Our first equation is trying to figure out how many adults and children, but we can't find that out alone without figuring out how many adults there are. That's a lot of adults children. We're not solving them today, though. We're just writing them. We'll come back to the solving later. Okay. Turn page. Well, oh. <laughs> All right. New person to read third problem. Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
you can work at most 20 hours next week. So you, need, you need to earn at least $92 to cover your weekly expenses. Your dog walking dog pays $7.50 per hour, and your dog has a car attendant pays $6 per hour. Okay. Go back to the very first sentence. What were the at most that's telling us that we're writing an inequality this time there's also this at least part here that lets us know we're writing an inequality and we're going to end up writing two because this is a system of inequalities but let's go to our let statements first we're going to let d equal the hours dog walking We're going to let C equal the hours attending cars, whatever that means. So what's some important information for us to use here? Well, the first sentence tells us you can work at most 20 hours next week. What kind of two jobs does this person have? Dog walking and cars. So D plus C less than or equal to 20. And realize this, this first inequality is all about the hours, right? This is hours of dog. This is hours of cars less than or equal to 20 hours total probably means this person is in school and they've got homework or classes right they're not working a full week it's part-time now we've got the 750 what does that go with so our, our second one is going to say 7.5 d plus 6c 6c is greater than or equal to 92. This person needs to make at least $92. Can they make more? Yes. So at this point, I'm going to stop and there's three more. I want your table to try to work together to decide how to write up the next three. Uh, please make sure you're using pencil because if you make mistakes we want to correct them. Okay? 